save the elephants, save the world. Save the jaguars, save the world. Save the tigers, save the world. Where we going? We gonna go save the chimpanzees! Save the tiger, save the world. Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. Today is Sunday, which of course means... Chip Dinner Live! <laughs> So we're gonna try something new today. Every time I ask China something, she has to respond with yes. Keep that going and comment below how you think it goes. So anyway, if you've been following us, you've been following our channel, you know that our season is about to start in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we're actually packing up everything right now to head back up there. Our new season starts on February 29th. We do our tours on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So you can come join us where you can actually spend time with Bali and Sabriva playing volleyball or having dinner with them, painting shirts. That too. Play with so, Baby and Gata. And play with Baby and Gata. Yes, squish it. Take pictures of them. Not to mention our fabulous tiger cups. Also, yes. So you can join us by going to MyrtleBeachSafari.com to find out all about us. But because of that, we're keeping it simple tonight. So as you can see, this is all we've got laid out. We're actually going to make a rice bowl for the boys. So we're gonna have brown basmati rice. Um, we have tomato soup with fresh tomatoes, cooked lentils with spinach, some organic broccoli, and of course, we always season it with some liquid aminos, olive oil, and some brewer's yeast. And we're also adding, ta-da, some sauerkraut. It's magic Raw for the belly. Crab. Magic for the belly. Is it magic for the belly? <laughs> yes, it is magic for the belly. Raw sauerkraut actually has probiotics and prebiotics, which are good for your gut. So we're gonna give the boys a little bit of that. So stay tuned as we go get our rice. I got it. I think I got it. Okay. 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 <laughs> is this the scoop for the rice? What? I didn't hear you. Go for it. No. Scoop it. Was it worth? Yes. Why do you always make me deal with the hot stuff? Yes. Oh, sorry. Remove the rice, and when you get back, give me the broccoli. You mean the tiny trees? Yes, the tiny trees. I am putting the tiny trees in the rice. The tiny trees. All right, add our other stuff. A dollop of olive oil. Drags liquid aminos, it adds to the flavor. And it's good for you, right? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't forget Bob's Red Mill Bragg's nutritional yeast flakes. About a quarter cup. Is that a quarter cup? Yes. All right, now I'm going to add the sauerkraut, you don't really need that much, just a couple of tablespoons goes a long way. A long way for me. Mm. Taste test! Mm. 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 Is that good? Mm -hmm. Well, we've mixed our dinners, so you know what that means. What does that mean? Stay tuned. It means it's time to go get the monkeys. So we've mixed our dinners, so you know what that means. Time to get the boys. So you stay tuned. And comment below how many times China said yes. Three. I don't think it's going to Don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a shout out on the next video. <laughs> I forgot you and Jake. for these boys. 
because they love sandwiches. Me too. I don't like knives. I like spoons. No? <laughs> I don't like knives. You gotta put your body in here. Hey guys, we got Chimp Center Live. Look at that tasty stuff right there. We got Bali the Chimp. We got Subriva the Chimp. We got Ungado the Chimp down there having his dinner first. Bali and Subriva are ready for theirs. Yummy! Yummy stuff. Now, what they're having is brown basmati rice, fresh organic broccoli. Organic tomatoes, lentils, some tomato soup, brewer's yeast, that's what makes it all yellow. And on top of that, it's got a little bit of liquid amino acids and sauerkraut. Everybody needs a little sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's the, our, 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 our obsession, you know. Sauerkraut makes you have the greatest probiotics, greatest uh, prebiotics, lets everything go in. What happened to Cody and coffee time? Because Cody's, here in the Miami house. Cody will be back in the Little Beach house very soon and coffee time will come back. We're trying to put together a coffee time coffee mug. And everybody that loves coffee time needs a sweet coffee mug, I think. Yeah, Jim Brothers, crazy. Miami, down the street. Uh, these boys love to eat, right? You gotta put down a lot of calories. The chimpanzee like these guys can easily eat four or five thousand calories in a day. They're always eating. Ten tall from Northern California. Oh, no, North Carolina. I can't read. Um, wow. Yeah, we're open in October. My bubbles, bubbles will be there. That, that's for sure there. EJWJR67. Are you eating bottle? Yum. Mm -hmm. Even though Sir is gonna outweigh him, I bet you, in just a few more weeks. Oh, yes. Philadelphia. Uh, chimpanzees just move around a lot. I think they eat more. I mean, they know that that's uh, what they, they just have a high metabolism. They eat more. They live a shorter life. They have incredibly dense muscles. You know, just look at him. He's young, but he's, his hands are already substantially bigger than mine. You know, he's, uh, he's a powerful what kid. His head is I want one to smaller than China's, and China has a little head. <laughs> Angada's down there slurping. Look at Angada. Oh, yeah, I didn't zoom in on him enough. Angada looks like a seal with his head up in the air. He's kind of bald there, too. Look at his little chest. I get the last little bit. Oh, no, I gotta get all my milk. So he was like, what? That, that chip is getting something to drink. We don't get to drink and eat. Why does he get to drink and eat? Why don't we eat and drink? We don't eat and drink because it dilutes your stomach juices. So we tried to eat 15 minutes after we. We try to drink 15 minutes after we have eaten. Look, they're eating brown basmati rice, organic broccoli, um, tomatoes, brewer's yeast, olive oil, what's left of some liquid amino acids, and lentils, and fresh tomatoes, and, and uh, soup. Raw sauerkraut. Hi, Alicia and Patrick Lange. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Thanksgiving bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're 
take one for a chip. Yeah. Oh, I'll give one to a chip. Oh, I'm filming table. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Show us more, baby. Tune in to Moksha's um, account and you'll see the close, more close-ups of baby and no big guys. Oh, Mr. Grievous is give me more, give me more. Oh, Always super. working on his. Good you job, see how the Uncrustables tonight? No, Friends, cool, cool. He's trying to feed me the crust. <laughs> Are chimpanzees more dangerous than gorillas? I would say in a wrestling match, a gorilla will wipe you out quicker. But I would say for overall aggression, a chimpanzee has a baseline aggression that far exceeds a gorilla's aggression. Now a great big male gorilla who's looking to be competitive with other gorillas uh, is, is, is just an enormous undertaking. He's like, put it in my hand, Grandpa. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Well, like, what, that other chimp got to eat something. Even though I'm eating something, he can't eat something. What it is before, but that's it. Uh, so you can take half. Oh yeah, he took a half, he took a half. Well, get the other half, there you go. Oh, no oh, problem. Get, get, get. Slime, slime, slime. Hold on your fingers, dude. Get that, get that, get that. What's that? Yeah, silly me. Good boy. Good boy. We got, we got some fine fruits that are here. Look at this fine fruit. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's a left handed roll. Kind of hard to do. Would you like this? Would you like to have an orange? Probably says, give me an orange. Let's see, let's see that technique. He gives it a one. One pop and he cracks it in half. Who can do that? He can do it. He did a double pop just to show it. Sugriva watches him, but Sugriva will say, I'm not a savage. I'll feel it with my teeth. I love the taste of the orange peel in the morning. <laughs> Bobby, are you do you want something else? Tell me a raspberry. Tell me a raspberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can spin that orange seed. These yeah. ready to what are these? What are these? Who has a problem? Ta-da! Wait, we have your note? Let's see your note. Oh, like she says, and here it is. Chimp dinner. Stay wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, coming in, coming in. Yummy stuff. Sorbet. And he just walks and said, baby, the baby needs time. I'll give that baby time. Bobby probably would have ate the baby's head. <laughs> ate that baby's head because he's taking my food. Bobby loves him. We just have our great program right now. We are out doing anti-rhino coaching right now. We were down in South Africa days ago distributing <laughs> super high-tech equipment, super stealth stuff to try and stop rhino poaching. Rhino poaching has gotten extravagant in South Africa and all over the world, and we're doing everything that we can to do that. The, the, the chimps ate fruits and vegetables by in massive quantities a day, then they ate their dinner tonight, which was brown basmati rice with the lentils and fresh tomatoes and broccoli and brewer yeast and liquid amino acids and olive oil and celery sprouts. That's right, the good stuff. Bali and Sagriba challenge you to a game of volleyball. They are some crazy volleyball players. They'll paint, they'll play volleyball. You'll get to meet a guy and put your hands on that precious kid. You'll also get to cook dinner with these apes. You come, there is real chimp dinner live where you come and have dinner with the chimps live at the Little Beach Safari. You gotta come and see us there. All of that goes to support the Rare Species Fund. Rare Species Fund is an international conservation organization. We just were down working heavily with anti-coaching um, action in South Africa. We run daily anti-poaching across Sumatra at our ranger station that's there. Soraya Station, a station we built in the deep jungles of Sumatra. There, every day, apes are protected. Every day, they watch over rhinos, elephants, sun bears, orangutan, and tigers. That facility is operated by us and because people like you come visit us at the preserve. You visit us there, the interactions you have are unbelievable and the financing from all of that goes to making the Rare Species Fund an international conservation organization that's saving thousands of lives every day, catching poachers every day, watching the whole thing go. Our incredible chimps will swim for you. They'll see it. You'll just see them play around. They have the greatest time. It is an incredible stuff. MyrtleBeachSafari.com. 
Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Got to see Bob and the chimp. Sue Grieve the chimp. Sue Grieve is feeding his thumb to Ungata. I've got to say, that's kind of a tasty thumb. Can I have that thumb over there? Hey, Chippy, Bob and Chimp, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Peace and love. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you tune in for the next one. Hey guys, this is beautiful Vali and Sagriva, our eight-year-old chimpanzee brothers. You can come visit them and the rest of our animal family. Come meet their little baby brother, play ball with these guys, and share some pizza with them at the Myrtle Beach Safari. You can also check out what we're doing to help save great apes like this, rhinos, tigers, and orangutans in their last habitats at the rarespeciesfund.org. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow us and check out for the next episode.